Hey guys, Shiro Gamer here, and we are back with one last episode of Undertale. So, we have gone through the entire game without killing a single monster, and um, we are now starting here at this point where we have the final choice to kill or spare Asko, which obviously we want to mercy him because uh, we want to get through this game without killing anyone, so let's spare him. After everything I have done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface? Human, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. We can sit in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. We could be like... like a family. Yes, we could. Yes. It's just a fantasy, is it? No! No, it's not a fantasy. We can do that. We can do that. Young one, when I look at you, I'm reminded of the human that fell here long ago. You have the same feeling of hope in your eyes. There is an ancient prophecy among our people. One day, a savior will come from the heavens. I believe the one that was prophesized was you. Somewhere in the world outside, there must be a way to free us from our prison. It pains me to give you this responsibility, but please, take my soul and seek the truth. No! The game forced us to kill him. Huh. I am sorry. I couldn't give you a simple, happy ending, but I believe your freedom is what my son, what Ezreal would have wanted. No! So no matter what we do, in the end he dies. Is, is it gonna be the same ending? Oh! Uh, no it's not, we didn't kill anyone. Hee <laughs> hee don't worry. I know there's real point in- no real point in fighting you. The human souls will probably just revolt again. So... Alright, are you just gonna give me the ending this time? Okay, he's just giving us the ending this time since he knows that the souls will just fight back again. So there's no point. He's not gonna fight again. That's okay, so we're just gonna get the ending now, this time. The correct ending? Yes. At least a better neutral ending. We didn't technically get the pacifist ending yet. Cause Asgore still didn't make it out alive. Do we have to go through it again? Well, let's see what Flowey thinks after what the ending, what happens with the ending here. Let's see. Okay. Ring, ring. Hey, uh, is anyone there? Well, just calling to say you made a snowman really happy. Guess I should say something else too. So, it's been a while. The Queen returned, and is now ruling over the underground. She's instated a new policy. All the humans who fall here will be treated not as enemies, but as friends. It's probably for the best, anyway. The human souls the King gathered seem to have disappeared. So, uh, that plan ain't happening anytime soon. But even though people are heartbroken over the king, and things are looking grim for our freedom, the queen's trying her best not to let us give up hope. 
So, uh, hey, we're not giving up down here. Don't give up wherever you are, okay? Who knows how long it will take. But we will get out of here. Sans, who are you talking to? Oh, nobody. What? Nobody? Can I talk to them too? Here, knock yourself out. Wait a second. I recognize this number. Hey, human! How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Well, besides one thing, the Queen disbanded the Royal Guard. Since we don't have to fight humans anymore. Wow! I have no idea what to do with my life. But, that's okay, because I'm still working hard, even if it's on nothing at all. So don't feel bad. Papyrus is fine. Undyne is the one that's got it bad. She's lost her job. She lost her house. It was so sad, but we're taking care of her. She lives on our couch now. It's like a sleepover every night. A sleepover there's no escape. Oh, we gave her a job too. She inspired her at his illegal hot dog stand. She hates working, but she makes a mean hot dog. Oh yeah, she still blames you for the disappearance of Asgore. Uh, yeah, that is still kind of our fault. She talks to me a lot about getting revenge on me. She has a but. Ludicrous, ludicrous, ludicrous plan across the barrier be To be honest, I think it's a bit, but I'd like to believe it's not, because I want to go with her. Then I get to see you again, even if I'd have to think. Well, keep your fingers crossed and keep in touch. It'll make our plans easier. Bye. All right, so we got another neutral ending. See what fun happens. Interesting. So, even with everything you did, the outcome's still the same. In the end, your choices were an illusion. In the end, your choices were an illusion. Nothing you do really matters. Hehehe. <laughs> well, you did do what I told you. I guess it's up to me to get you a real happy ending. For starters, you can't do it by yourself. Papyrus, Undyne. Papyrus, Alfie, Alfie's, Undyne, these guys. Are you friends with them yet? Maybe you should go back and hang with them. Hint, so hint. So yeah, if you remember earlier, Papyrus gave us the opportunity to hang out with him, as well as with we Undyne. Done that. So yeah, we need to do that to get the actual pacifist ending. In order for Asgore to make it out of this alive. The power of friendship. That always saves the day, right? Alright, let's see if it does. Okay, and then we go back here. So, we now have to go back and go see our friends. So let's go see them. So you see... Is there really like no monsters trying to fight us this time? Um, well I do think we can be able to do a bit of grinding at the core, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go and hang out with our friends. Yeah, I believe if you do revisit areas, you won't have to fight any monsters. Yeah. Well, except the core, as I just mentioned. Is there, is most of our friends now, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm just gonna make my way back down. <coughs> Papyrus, Alfie is un undying. Yep. We gotta make friends with all three of them in order to get the true pacifist ending. What about Papyrus? I thought he was our friend. Um, he was, but we still need to hang out with him first. Before he becomes our friend? Yeah. So, let's quick head back to Snowden and head to his house. See, I don't think I showed this on camera yet, but there is a river man that can take us straight from Hotland here to back, back to Snowden. So we can go See, around gonna, Yep. So let's... Oh, nope, that's not the way. I, that's right, I have to take the elevator. I 
gotta take that. Please select the location, uh, left four of us wanna go. Okay. Well, I guess while we're here, let's see how Alfie's is doing. There's no response. Okay, so we can't get into the lab anymore. Charlala, care for a ride? Say, so, this is the river man who can take us to places. Yeah, he showed take it us to, to me, Snowden guys. or Waterfall. Yeah, I showed it to Nick already. The Jedi. Just showing it to the viewers. The Jedi waiting already. Yeah. Chalala, humans, monsters, flowers. Okay. So we're back at Snowden here. So let's go ahead and hang out with Papyrus. Come again sometime. Chalala. Alright. So let's make our way back over here. And here we are. Let's go. So you came back to see me. You must really be really serious about this. I have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Alright, where are we going? Oh, I'm excited. Where are we going? <laughs> My house! We were just there. Yeah, literally. Okay. That was going for Welcome to Scenic My House. Enjoy and take your time. Okay, so let's see what's around here. Um, it's a joke book. Take a look inside. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There was another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Okay, you touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. Find a bunch of loose coins inside. You got 20 gold. Oh, yep. You really enjoy searching the couch for coins. Yeah, see if there's any more. Saggy old couch. Okay, let's see what's on TV. Oh, it's my favorite game show. It says stay tuned for a new pro program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. Okay, let's see what's here. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Which, okay. You moved it two inches. Move to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. It's still here. Did you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. <laughs> okay, let's see what this is. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. Let's see what's in his kitchen. Let's see here. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it anytime. Okay, let's see what this is. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche. He filled it with a sugary, non-egg substance. How absurd. I don't care, there's an empty pie inside the store. What do you think it was? Butterscotch pie, right? Yes, it was the butterscotch pie. He was cooking a butterscotch pie. Let's check his refrigerator. Aha! Interested in my food museum. Please, pursue my culinary art show. Half the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. <laughs> well, we know whose side that is. See it here. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Let's take a look. See? see. Oh no. What? Catch that meddling canine. Get it, get it. Oh. Curses. <laughs> Sans, stop plaguing my life with an incidental music. Oh wow, yeah, you just got rid of it. Forget it. Okay, let's see what's upstairs here. Uh, that's my room. 
finished looking around, we can go in and hang out with a pair of very cool friends. Inside, uh, not yet, let's look over here. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Oh, yep. The door is locked. Oh, yeah. There is a way we can unlock this do the door to Santa's room, but... Uh, let's not do that. Alright, All right, so let's go ahead and hang out. Let's go! Look around this house here. Uh, let's see here. Hey! Those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. Even though it was basic, it basically just happened. No, it didn't just happen. That happened a long while back. That's my bet. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive it down a long highway. And wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. So it's a race car, but okay, let's see here. Ah, yes, action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa. Okay. I don't see this. Isn't that flag Nito? A dime found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> Let's see here. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That next book has another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bug. The ending always gets me. Oh. There are no skeletons inside my closet, except me sometimes. Looking closet? Uh, sure. Those are hung up neatly inside. Okay. Check out his computer. The internet. I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. <laughs> hmm, I wonder who that is. Okay, let's start the hang. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start hanging out? In the hangouts? Yes, absolutely. Okay, let's hang ten. Wait, hangout start. Here we are, hanging out. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can't spell prepared without several letters of, from my name. That's right. I snagged an official hangout guidebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one: press C on your keyboard for friendship hug. Uh, yeah, hug. So let's press C. Wowie! I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two: ask them to hang out. Ahem. You, I, the great papyrus, will hang out with. Yes, let's do it. Reefy? Wowee! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice to close to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That apron you put on. You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You wanted to hang out with me from the very beginning? Um, well, it wasn't part of our original plan, so not really, I would say. I'll let yeah. you decide what Yeah, not happen. really. Yeah. Despite that, you chose to wear clothing today, of all days. What was our, your friendship pre predestined? No, your friendship power. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet! I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beat at hanging out, and I never win! I can easily keep up with you. You see, I didn't can wear clothing. In fact, 
I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case someone wants to hang out. Behold! Yeah, what do you think of my secret style? What do you think of it? No, say we love it. No! You genuine compliments! Yes! However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This hangout won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Okay, so we can expect him uh, with Z, expect parts of him. What do you want to expect first? Or inspect first? What is it? Uh, sure. Let's, let's just go with the correct choice to move on. It's the hat. My hat. My hat. My hat! Yeah! Well then, you found my secrets. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Do you want to open it? Uh, yeah. Let's open it. Do you know what this is? What is it? Uh, you know what it is? I know what it is. Uh, but do you? I'm letting you make the choices. Sure. Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But oh so wrong. This ain't any play of pasta. It's an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti finely aged in oak and cast. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Will we eat it or will we refuse it? Yeah. Alright, let's eat it. You take a small bite, your face reflex, reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking! And by extension, me! Me even more than I do! Oh! No! We did it. We did it. Human, it's clear now. You're completely obsessed with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you, I, Papyrus. Well, I'm flattered you care so much. But maybe cool it a little bit. You are a very nice person. I'm glad we're friends. But I think you can reach your max potential if you live more for your own sake rather than just for mine. Hey, I know the solution. You should hang out with my boss, Undyne. I think if you spread your friend energy out more, you'll have a more healthy lifestyle. Yeah, let's be friends with Undyne. Yeah, <laughs> So now we gotta go and be friends with Undyne. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Uh, laconically, uh, wait, I've got to go. <laughs> so, so now we have his phone number, so we can be able to call him anytime. Let's call him now. Wow, it only took four seconds to call me. It must be very desperate for my help. Well, do not fear. This is Papyrus' hot pool line. Just describe your location. I would describe some hot tips, so where are you? You're still in my room? You heard of something called a door? Wait, don't worry. I'll draw a diagram for you. Okay, no, you don't need to do that. But yeah, you can call him in certain places and he'll give you um, some funny dialogue, basically. Yeah, so now we've got to go and make friends with Undyne now. So let's head over to Undyne's house. Yep, we, yes, we do care for my ride. We're going to head to the waterfall. Let's go! Oh yeah, the boat changes every time you use it. It goes from a regular boat to dog to regular boat to dog boat. Turla, what's my name? It doesn't really matter. This one light show, gamer. We're, we are fine. Yeah, we're still fine. 
Once it actually starts getting dark out, then maybe I'll turn the lights on. Alright. Alright, but at the moment, we're fine. So let's go and head over to Undot's house. Wait, how much gold do I have first? Oh, no, I don't have much gold. Here we go. Yeah, as you can currently hear, that's, um, Undyne playing the piano inside the house at the moment. Yeah. If you can hear that, so. I can hear that. Yeah. Oh, the human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Will you hang out? Yes. Yes, of course. Okay, stand behind me. Make sure you give her this. She loves these. Alright, here we go. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one on one training? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. I thought it was one on one. Hi, I don't think we've. <laughs> it's just that face right there. She, she's just looking at Papyrus and she's like. What are you thinking? Why don't you two come in? Well, there are a few stars on this episode. Like, Here, Undyne. My friend brought a gift for you on their own. Uh, thanks. I'll uh, put it with the others. Wow, how many gifts do you have? So, are you, we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. Um, sh Sure. Okay. Just go smash through the window there. Okay. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me, humiliate me even further? Is that it? Uh, no. No, obviously. Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Alright. Right? Yeah. Yes. Really? How delightful. I accept. Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. She's being sarcastic, is she? Yeah. She's being sarcastic. Not! Yeah, she was being sarcastic. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're, you're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you. But I guess I o overestimated her. Underestimated. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second! Darn it! He thinks I can't be friends with you? Ugh, what a joke! I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day! I'll show him! Listen up, you did We're not just going to be friends, we're going to be besties! I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else! Ugh. It's the perfect revenge! Why don't you have a seat? Yeah. But before we do that, we can look around his house here. Like, uh, so nice to have. Why not take a seat? So yeah, we can look around her house. First. I can't believe he left through the window like that. Normally, he nails the landing. Yeah, let's <laughs> check out your piano. One time, Alfie's uh, friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano. Fed himself drink. I don't get it, but I did admire his lifestyle. You want to see my room? Too bad, no nerds allowed. Well, maybe some nerds. Okay. Um, the sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. Okay. Um, look inside the bone drawer. Yeah, let's look inside. What? Yeah, that dog really likes his bones, doesn't he? This oven is some top-of-the-line MTT thing, but, you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home-cooked with fire magic. Okay, the silverware drawer. It has forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. I don't mean nunchucks. Yeah. <laughs> 
know what actual nunchucks are? Do you know what actual nunchucks are? Uh, well, once we're done with this video, I'm gonna have to like look up some Google images and show you some nunchucks. Right. I hate cold food. Zalgies picks up my fridge, so it heats up food instead. Hot fridge, the world's greatest invention. Yeah, I guess with monster food, it would make sense, but our kind of food, human food, I don't exactly think it work out. It'd probably end up spoiled. Humans suck. Their history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size. Right? Uh, sure, sure. Yeah, I knew it. Then I, when I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and I just built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? I guess so. All right, let's go ahead and sit down. Sit down, progress. Yes. Comfortable. I'll get you something to drink. Okay. All well set. What would you like? Alright, um... I guess we have to go up there and select. Let's see here. Hey! Don't get up! You're the guest! Sit down and enjoy yourself! Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Okay. In the arrows and select with you, so we can select what we want here. So, uh, let's start with, um, let's see, your tea box. Blatantly correct choice. A hot chocolate green cylinder. That looks blue, doesn't it? That does yeah, not look like a green cylinder. Oh, baby. Right. Soda, sticky yellow liquid. Uh, sugar goes in the tea. Um, hot dime. Oh, oh, okay. Alright. Alright, fridge uh, full of food. Then the sword acquired taste. Well, uh, you just want to go with the correct choice. It doesn't really matter what you pick, because basically she'll just make up some excuse or something like that, that she isn't able right. to serve you it. so we got to go with the correct choice being the tea. Tea, huh? Coming right up. Don't you what it looks like? Yeah, without her armor on. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Yeah, she doesn't have her armor equipped right now. Alright, just waiting for that water to boil. There we go. Okay, it's all done. And I don't know how tea works, because I've never tried making any. I, I don't know. But here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot! Just drink it already! Uh -oh. You take a sip of the tea. Uh -oh. It's burning. That was... Yeah, it oh. is that hot, Alfie's. Okay. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Okay. Hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Man, Asgore must really love golden flowers. To take it that far. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Maybe one. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on try. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me. Do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. 
Anyway, long story short, he kept training. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like a uh, papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let the papyrus into the Royal Guard. Really? Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he, he's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know. So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Okay. Oh, sorry. I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Uh, sure. Let's see here. Wait a second. Pyrus. His cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now. If he's not here to have it, you'll have to ha have it for him. Okay. Well, okay, that's one way to do that to your counter. Nothing has brought the highest time in the Except if I give you his lesson, he'll be one closer than you can ever imagine. Ooh, right? We're gonna be fast, Brad. Alright, let's do it. Okay, surprised I made it that far without my next step. Let's start with the sauce. Go. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. How will you pound them? Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, we are still recording. Okay, so how will you pound? Will you pound strong or wimpy? Alright. You punch the vegetables at full force. Knock over a tomato. Yeah, yeah. Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Yeah. Oh, wow, I don't know. Uh, we'll just scrape this into a For now. We had the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brands. They're the cheapest. Uh, just put them in the middle. Okay, how we put them in? Fiercely or carefully? Uh, it doesn't matter, just pick one. But any one is the correct choice. Let's place the noodles in one at a time. Plank against the empty pot. Nice! Alright, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it! They're harder! 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 Ah, let me do it. Okay. That's the stuff. Alright, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stone top symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into a burning fire. Ready? Don't call anything back! Alright, hold right to turn up the heat. Alright, let's turn it up. Alright, um, yeah, that should be good. Get a nice home cooked spaghetti, everyone. It's good to eat there. Uh, uh, don't be too much. Let's see, this is how you. I think that was, um, you had too much heat there, Undyne. Uh, man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. So what's next? Scrapbooking and friendship bracelets? 
Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret! I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to be friendly. That's it. I don't care for my guests anymore. One final rematch. All out on both sides. It's the only way I can recap my lost pride. Now come on. Hit me with me. Yeah. Nine is late. You make the first attack. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um. Make attack. Yes. Good. You pretend to swing it on time with all your might. Okay. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me? Huh? <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid saccharine shtick, but the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the out of you. Okay, I should have That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now let's get out of this flaming house. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again. Again, some other time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll hang, go hang out with the fires. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just get papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. Oh, wait. This is sudden, but can you deliver something for me? Papyrus suggested that I ask you. He told me it when I still hated you, so, uh, anyway, here, just take it. You got Undyne's letter. Well, what are you waiting for? Go deliver it! Uh, oh, yeah, it's addressed to Dr. Alpes. Okay, see you. Okay. So, go deliver the letter to Alpes. So, we have to be friends with Papyrus and Undyne first to be friends with, um, Alphys. So let's go, eh, and be friends with Alphys. Yes, let's go. Charlala, care for a ride? Ride in the boat? Yes. Where will we go today? We're going to Hotland. We're gonna have a good time with Alphys. Yes. Charlala, What's inside an acorn? It's really just a mystery. The guy this says Sorry. random stuff, doesn't he? And just yeah, he usually just gives you some small piece of information. There is some interesting information, but uh, not too much, and it's not all that important for getting through the game. All right, let's go and check here. The door has no mail slot. Slide the letter under. Let's slide it. Yes. You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Mm. Oh, oh, no, n no. Is that another letter? I don't want to open it. I can't I just slide it back out? N no, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. What? Hey, this is a joke. It's... Oh my god. Did 
did you write this letter? Uh, no. It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god. No. That's adorable. And I had no idea you, um, wrote that way. It's surprising, too. After all the gross stuff I did, I won't really... I don't really deserve to be forgotten, much less, um, this. So passionately, too. Uh, we, I'm tell we did not write that. Alfie's, or er, Undyne wrote that. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Y yeah, let's go on a date. Uh, I, Undyne wrote that letter. It was not me. Okay? It was not me. Alright, well, dating starts. Okay. Period. 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 Oh. What? Uh, sorry. I'm still getting dressed. Okay. There we go. And how do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of... Um, anyway, let's do this. Alright, dating start. Hey, w wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating, stop. <laughs> Um, I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistics first. Now increase the chance of a successful outcome to the date, right? Anyway, don't worry. I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. But first, I've got some metal armor polish. Um, um maybe you can't use that. But, uh, also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Your, uh, scales. Uh, well, how about this magical spear repair ki kit that I, um, hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Okay, now date starts. Let's go. Yeah, let's, uh, date. Um. Okay, well, <laughs> well, what's going on here? Uh, do you, like, anime? Well, what, what, which we answer? Uh, there's no incorrect answer. What? Sure. Right, sure. Hey, hey, me too. Still nothing to talk about, is there? Hey, let's uh, go somewhere. Where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. Here we are. This is where Dine and I come all the time. We find all sort sorts of great stuff here. Yeah, she's really, uh... Oh no, that's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well, oh no, here she comes. Jeez. Oh, she's dressed up too. Hey, there you are. I, uh, realize if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it? <sighs> have you at least seen her? What? Okay, if you want to turn on the light, go ahead. Alright, the big button is the light. No, just press it. It's a button. You, you pre go. A button is meant for pressing. Got it? Okay, yeah, that's it. how to press a button. Press your whole bar. Okay, okay, uh, okay. Alright, have you at least seen her? Okay, what should we say to her? Should we uh, lie to protect yeah. Alfie's... Or, what? Yeah. Uh, sure, let's say we did not see her. No? But she wasn't at home. Where the heck should be, could she be? Okay, we got... Oh, well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I just figured, you, you know, it'd be fun to go on, like, a cute kind of pretend date with you to, to make you feel better. 
Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry, I messed up again. Undyne's the person I really want to go on a date with. But I mean, she's way out of my league. It's not that you aren't, um, cool. But, but Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny. And I'm just a nobody. Fraud. I'm the royal scientist. All I've ever done is hurt people. I told her so many lies. She thinks I'm she thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll she'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? And yeah, tell her the truth. The truth may hurt, but in the end, you do the right thing and most likely you'll... Results? Okay. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better that way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or a truth where neither of us are? They say be yourself, but I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> Uh, no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the truth? I d d don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Alright, let's roleplay it. Or we can select, obviously, let's roleplay. But which one we want to pick? The one where I give her a suggestion or act like I know what we should do? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Roleplay? That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be on Dine? You're already healthy, so I'll be on Dine, of course. Oh, right. Obviously. Ahem. <laughs> Hi, Undyne. How are you doing today? I'm fine. Too. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha. Glad to hear it. Uh, so I'd like to, um, talk to you about something. What is it? Um, what is it, Alfie? Um, you see, I, I... I haven't been exactly truthful with you. Y you see, I... I want to... S oh, forget it. Undyne. No, no. I want to tell you how I feel, but... You're so brave and strong and, and nice. You always listen to me when I talk about nerdy stuff. You, you always t t do your best to make me f feel special. I like telling like telling me that you'll beat up anyone that g gets in my way. I'm dying! I can't take this any longer! I'm madly in love with you! Hold me, I'm dying! Hold me! Oh... Well... This is, um... Awkward. Yeah, it's really awkward. What did you just say? Uh, Undyne, I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two... on a date? Uh, yes. <laughs> Her face right there, just like when you answer that, she's just like... Oh, you are so dead. <laughs> That's exactly what her face is right there. Yeah. I mean, uh, no. I mean, we were, but, uh, I mean, actually, we were romantically role-playing as you. What? I mean, I mean, Undyne, I, I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well... Everything. I told you it, that she would. Oh, Jesus. Make ice cream. Those human history books I kept reading, those were just dorky comic books. History movies, those. Those are just, uh, anime. 
the orange tree. In that time I told you I was busy with wouldn't work on the phone. I was just eating frozen game. James that took me. Alfie's. So every all the information that Alfie's had on humans was all not actual information on humans. Yeah. So she's been lying about that much. Tell I'm dying. I I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool, that I wasn't some nerdy loser. Alfie's. Undyne, I, I really think that you're neat. Okay. Alfie's. Shh. Shh. Okay. Alfie's. I. I think you're neat too, I guess. But you've gotta realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching Kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all that stuff is nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate. You're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is. You care about it. 100% at maximum power. So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. At least, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know that just the training that you need. I'm dying with you. You're gonna train me? What? Me? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Now nah, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. Jeez, Papyrus, what are you wearing now? Get, get those bones shaking! It's time to jog a hundred laps, hooting about how great we are. Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Uh, Undyne, I'll do my best. Oh my god! She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics, those are still real. Right? Anime's real! Right? Uh, well, let's tell her. Uh, yeah, it's, it's real. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it! Gigantic swords! Magical princesses! Here I come! Uh, thanks for taking care of Alphys. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but things seem like they're going to get better for her. Well, I gotta catch up with them. Later! Okay. Well, that was interesting. We're in Elfies now? Yeah, well, not entirely yet. Um, well, yeah, we are, but we're not 100% done with Elfies yet. Here we go. Howdy. If it isn't my good friend who trusts me. This is Papyrus, you're also a mutual friend. Alfie's and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now, I feel strongly, and for no apparent reason, you should also go there. To her lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Okay. So yeah, we've got to, uh... So yeah, now we gotta head back to Alphys' house. Alright. Yes, we're, at, we're gonna head to Alphys' lab. Yes. Let's see. Chala, if it's hot or cold, you can count on me. Alright. And lean on me when you're not strong. I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on. Alright. Come again sometime. Okay. Alright. Let's head on into the lab and see what's going on. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Out these. Oh, what's going on? Oh, it's going on here. Oh, hey. The bathroom's open. Uh, let's see here. 
It's a note from P Alfie's. I almost said Papyrus. Read it? Well, of course. Sure. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be a... Hey guys, Shiro Gamer. And the Jedi Gamer. Yep, and last time we arrived here and we did not get... You guys did not get to finish seeing this note, so... It's a note from Alfie's. Read it? Alright, yes. It's hard to read because of the handwriting. But you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the no north of this note. You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. Okay, so let's see what dark truth lies beyond this door that is actually not a bathroom. Alright, let's see what secret you're hiding, Alfie's. Elevator, placing top work. EM, tether, stability, loss. Altitude, dropping. Oh, that's not good. Are we okay? Um. Oh, jeez. What happened? We are alive. Yep. Even though if we were clearly standing up in a falling elevator, we'd probably be dead. If this was real life. Let's see here. None of the buttons work. Seems to have lost power. Okay, let's... Let's see what sort of, um... Place oh, we're at here. Yeah, this is no bathroom. What is this? Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Okay, this is getting interesting, isn't it? Yes, it is. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated by it artificially. Soul power can only be it derived from what was once living. So to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of the mo most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster soul last. Entry number five. I've yeah. done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living. The resolve to change fate. Let's call this power determination. Are you... Okay, did you miss entry number five? No, I heard it. Okay, I'll show you again just in case. Blueprints I've extracted from human souls. Strength to persist after death. Keep resolve to change fate. Let's call this power determination. Okay. So yeah, just showing that again for you. I have no idea what's going on. So it seems like Alfie's did some kind of experiment down here. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, okay. So, let's see here. Uh, power room. Okay, so this is a power room. It seems to be currently locked. Let's see over here. Buy chips for 25 gold. Uh, sure. Yeah. This is our only way of getting any food, so... The vending machine suspended some chips. Alright, let's see what this item is. Potato chips. Or uh, pop potato chips. Let's see here. Pop potato chips. Heals 13 HP. Regular old pop potato chips. Okay, let's see what. Yeah. Alright. Alright, let's see uh, what's over here. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Elevator. 
lost power into the center. So you can okay, okay, let's see. So we're at the true laboratory. So this is uh, the actual lab right here. What you saw upstairs was just like a little place out this The place she does her experiments is down here. Entry number six. Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. It's still comatose, and soon they'll all turn into dust. What will happen to them? What happened to my inject determination? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. <laughs> No. Entry number 9. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dusk, dust, so I can't get the souls. So I told the families that I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? Some kind of operating table. It's sticky. I want to know that. Uh, let's see what's in here. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Drain it, dropped it. That's all you could read. It's some kind of switch. There's a red colored slot in the center. Okay. Um, I guess something in one of these drains. You turned on the sink. You turned on the sink. The sink. Oh, jeez. What, what's happening here? What is that? Alfies, what have you been doing? Blank Junior. So something A, B, C. Uh, I guess just check. No data available. Okay. Uh, yeah, these are just a bunch of. This is sort of a gauntlet of mini bosses. It smells like batteries. Okay. Well, nothing happens there if we check them. What happens if? Uh, well, it seems data like so. Let's try using our cell phone. Take out your cell phone. You can hear voices through the receiver. Come join me. Up. Um, uh, no thanks. This, this, um, this does not look like fun to me. Uh, okay, so these are memories. I, I think I'm on a confused This looks ridiculous. That's a shame. Okay. Um, I think I'm good. Thank you very much. It seems like it doesn't care anymore. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm uh, just zero XP and zero. So by feeding them, you get a red key lying on the sink. You took it and put it on your keychain. So yeah, we had to beat them in order to put the red key in this slot. Flip the switch. No, actually, we, um, no, I'll show you what we get. Okay, so if stuff is gonna be like that, let's, let's fill up our inventory with some more chips. How much space do we have still? Uh, actually, I guess that would be good. As you can see, there are four switches we need to flip with keys. So yeah, luckily that was enough to open this door at least. So let's look around some more to see here. Entry number 12. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. Entry number 13. One of the bodies opened his eyes. Okay. That's interesting. It's an empty dog. Seems like a comfy bed. You could probably climb into it if you were to the left. Seems like a comfortable bed. Lie on it? Uh, sure, see what happens. Oh, my parents are starting a fire outside. Not sure what oh, oh what is that? I am not liking what I'm seeing here. What is that? Can I get a snack, Cheryl Gamer. What? Can I get a snack? Um, right, let's see if mom's okay with that first. Aww. Okay, but of course, not all closet monsters are bad. Oh, I bed. So yeah, these are all beds. 
Lots of these beds. Oh, this one stands out. There's something under the sheets. Check it out. Sure. Oh, it's a yellow key. Put on here too. Okay, yeah, we're gonna want that. Okay. Alright, true left. What is this? Entry number 14. Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all walking around talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners. Uh, sure, go ahead. Yeah, I'll just be waiting right here. Okay. Alright, I'll just wait here for you. This, this is important information. I'll, I'm, I'm patient. I can just edit this out of the video, too. So the viewers won't be seeing me just, just, just trip there, standing there. In the meantime, let's just take a look at my stats here. Waiting. Okay, yeah. Just put some hot dogs in. Okay, let's continue on then. Alright, I put some hot dogs in our inventory. Alright, let's go. Let's go to the right here first. Okay, we got here. Let's see here. Tree number seven. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster souls when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters. Just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then... What about something that's neither human nor monster? What, like one of these flowers? Rolling flowers. Should you like use one of these flowers then? Entry number 10. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever, they're a hassle to work with anyway. You don't like spawn? Okay. Okay. Probably like something like just simply some toasties if we have any those. Seeds just stick to you and won't let go. Okay. Alright. Nice. Oh. Oh, what's going on? Okay, so our indicator. What is that? Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna deal with this thing. Alright, check. Um, something completely unreadable. Um, I just. Okay, I can't read that. Viewers will figure this out. Start up by um, simply picking on. You pick on something that seems effective. Okay. I don't know what's going on. This. Okay. Uh, try mystifying. So that you did something mysterious. It was nice and has more to be learned from this world. Okay, what's that? Oh, jeez. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? Oh, sure, okay. Ah! Uh. Okay, um... Let's see here. Okay, let's check. Right. You kneel and pray for safety. Reaper Red seems to remember something. Finally gets it. Oh, those are like three different monsters, like, fused together. These are like some weird... Monster fusions is what they they are kind of. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. There's a bone on the ground. Can't make it all out. Cold. That's all you can. Kind 
a switch. Colored slots. Okay, so remember this area when we come back with the key. Remember it. Okay, so at least something like using one of those golden flowers or something as a mess. Okay, oh, more entries. Entry number 50. Seems like this research was a dead end. But at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls back to Asgore, returned the vessel to his garden, and I called all of the families and told them everyone's gone. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. Okay. Entry number 60. No, 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 no. Oh, jeez, what happened? What happened, Alfies? Okay, let's see what's in here. Oh, jeez. Let's see. What are we going up against here? And why am I walking so slowly? It's just... Oh, there we go. The green key lying on the bathtub. Okay, so we have the yellow and green key, so we just need the blue key now. I wonder where the blue key is. You like actually know where the blue key is. Yeah, I know where it is. Right, let's just keep looking around. I know what we need to do. Okay. Entry number 11. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. So, something ha happened to Alfie's experiments. I wonder what happened. Okay, there's a switch on the wall. Press it. Huh. Like. Oh jeez, what is that? Is that... Jeez. Oh gee, I can't go anywhere. What do we do? Okay, the yeah, this is It's the Amalgamate. Okay, check. Amalgamate. It's unclear how many dogs this counts as. Okay, that uh, gives me not much information. Oh, gee, what kind of is that? My face is watching you intensely. Okay, so... I guess we just, uh, back in. You call the amount. Bounds towards you, flicking a strange liquid from an orifice. Oh, gee, oh! Ah! No, 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 no! Oh, I think it hit me. Dead! Okay. Uh, Magmate is hovering close, looking for affection. Alright, let's pet it. You pet the Amalgamate. Pulses rapidly, then calms down. Press quietly on your lap for a moment. Suddenly, it shoots away and crawls widely on the walls. So, what's it gonna do now? What kind of attacks are these? Are those like spears, like, kind of like the spears on the giant movies? Amalgamate is striking the wall with its claws. Alright, play. So I'm guessing it's like Greater Dog. We gotta we throw your weapon in the corner of the room. Now mate brings it back to you. Growl. Really? You repeat this process a few times. Now mate may is very tired. Yep, it's um, basically like it's basically like greater dog. Okay, I think you just simply travel in a corner or a circle. Basically got this. I'm gonna be twitching affectionately. Okay, so you get a pet. Okay, it starts to generate a strange, a stage one happiness crawl. Okay. Oh, 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 jeez. Um, okay, I'm not gonna need potions intensely. Uh, okay, uh, let's pet it some more. You pet the safely, the amalgamate seems to be satisfied by this. Oh, yay! And Doggany is contented. Okay. Yeah. Basically, this boss kind of makes fun of sort of that kind of art where it's like, I forgot what it's called, like. I forgot. Let's, let's, let's just continue. Go on, you earned it. Zero XP. Alright, so it's actually important to turn on these fans for a reason, because one of these rooms uh, needs to be cleared away with the fan. Okay. But yeah, Alf this, Alfie's, like what Alf, from what we've seen in these entries so far, Alfie's had create, extracted the determination from the souls. Uh, and then it seems like he used it on monster souls. And something must have happened. And I guess that the result was these things, which seems to be uh, fusions of the monsters that should have been dead. 
Okay, let's see what's in here. Oh, the LED sign. Good. We'll keep it perfectly. Can't take it all out. Anger sheets. That's all you can read. Okay, let's see what uh, this is. Entry number four. I've been researching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around this castle and found these weird things. I don't feel like Asgore's watched them. I don't think he should. Seems like it's mostly cartoons. Same thing out of the same mixture. Sticky ones. And there are a bunch of VHS. It seems like it's mostly cartoons. Um. As a VHS player with a few tapes picked out beside it, they seem to be labeled as specific for when you watch one. Let's uh, check these tapes out, see what sure. they mean. Gory, wake up! What is it, dear? Why do you have that video camera? Shush! I want to get your reaction. Gory, dearest, what is my favorite vegetable? Carrots. Oh as carrots, right? Smells like it, doesn't it? No, 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 my favorite vegetable is edamame. Get it? Ugh. Go back to bed, dear. No, 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 not yet. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Really? Now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I would be a Mamoranian. Get it? They call us like Asbury, uh, uh, Toriel and Asmores. Uh, yes, it is. It is that? Uh, yes. Th this is a tape from like back when they used to be together. Oh, ho, ho, ho. You sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day you could be a famous momedian. <laughs> These are some good mom ones, I'll tell you that. Well, I am going to. Hey, come on, Tori. That one was funny. <laughs> I know. I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night. Oh dear, perhaps it is too dark in here for the video to come out. Okay, well that was uh, the first one. Just tape to watch. Let's look at tape number two. See what that is. Okay, Trip, are you ready? Do your creepy face. Ah! <laughs> Oh, wait, I had the lens cap on. What? You're not gonna do it again? Come on, quit tricking me. <laughs> She's a tape to watch. Uh, tape three. Let's see what this three. is. Does one of these tapes have the, the, the blue key? No. No, I know where the blue key is. This, we actually don't have to watch these tapes. I'm just showing you because it is important. How this do you... Maybe the important for later. Uh, yeah, it's interesting information. Okay. Howdy, Trip. Smile for the camera. Ha, this time I got you. I left the cap on on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, I remember. When we tried to make butterscotch pie for Dad. Right. First, he asked for cups of butter. But we accidentally put in butter cups instead. Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. I felt so bad. We made Mom really upset. I should have laughed it off like you did. Trip, that's, that's our um, guy. Yeah. Anyway, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera? Okay. Okay, what's going on here? More. I, I don't like this idea, Trip. What? what? No, I'm not. Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I'd never doubt you, Trip. Never. Y yeah, we'll be strong. We'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. 
And finally, tape number five. Okay, just tape to watch. Do you uh, ha sort of have an idea where this is going? Probably not until you see this. Trip, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. Trip, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. You are the future of humans and monsters. Trip, please, wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. Is that I, the little kid? I, yeah, that's Azriel. Oh, that is? Yeah, that's the prince. That's Azriel. Oh, okay. No, I said I'd never doubt the trip from these tapes was the fallen human that Azriel befriended. So our guy was? Uh, no. Yeah, you'll see when we get to the final boss. Six, right? We just have to get six, and we'll do it together, right? So, yeah, I have an idea what's going on here. So, originally, uh, the first fallen human that also being named Trip, um, uh, he actually had told Azriel a point to, um, to uh, give him the flowers so he could get sick with them. So, so in reality, what happened was the first fallen human um, wanted to help out Azrael with freeing all the monsters from the underground, and he did that by committing suicide. He used the golden flowers to basically poison himself. That's basically what happened. So it, it was the sickening was not an accident. That was no accident. Trip wanted that to happen. That that's what this is explaining. Okay, let's continue on and search for the blue key. No oh, save point is blocking. Oh no. Who knows save points could be dangerous. It smells like sweet lemons. Okay, now we got the lemon bread. We cannot. Okay, so we cannot check him, it seems. So, um, first off, I want to unhug him. You let lemon bread be. Lemon bread's teeth shit. Welcome to my special pet. Oh, jeez. Ah! Yeah, this is a tough attack to avoid. Careful! Die. That is a lot of damage. I'm gonna eat some potato chips. The potato chips. Your HP was maxed out. Alright, ah! There we go. There we go. That ah, is a tough attack. Okay, it seems like it only does it three times. It looks like sweet lemons. Then we gotta flex. You flex your arm. Red muscle. Uh, yeah, yeah. Some of these bosses are actually quite scary, aren't they? They're quite scary. I'll admit. Uh, and I I felt this before. Yeah, it's a bit of a tough tech. Won't you be out? Could this be combined? So after you do those three things, then you can just bear them. Okay, so let's see what this weird thing is. DT Extraction Machine. Status inactive. You know what DT stands for? Yes. That, that is exactly what that means. Okay, let's see. Entry number 19. The families keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. The refrigerator. It's empty. The refrigerator. It's to contain samples. Entry number 20. Was there the next refrigerator? I think so. Oh, it is. Oh, As score, okay, I didn't see way of bleeding. Okay, entry number 20. As score left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry. One about this cute teacup that he found that looks like me. Thanks, Asgore. Okay, let's see what's in the shape. To refrigerator, it's empty. I guess it's just a simple malfunction. Entry number 21. I spend all my time in at that garbage dump now. It's my element. It's refrigerator. It's contained samples. Okay. It's refrigerator. It's okay. Okay, so something seems to be going on with these refrigerators. Let's see what's. Oh, I got another one. Really bought. It's so cold. 
Okay, uh, yeah, check. Now the mate attack 12 defense. Negative. Oh, wait, are those negatives? Seems like it's losing itself. Stoke. I don't even consider this one a boss. It's so cold. Um. Uh, Joe. Tell the bad pun about snow. The expression starts to shift. Uh, I remember. This one does not make any sense. So I oh no I have to I think I have to keep telling jokes. It told about bad pun about snow. Her expression changes more. Uh, thank you. Her text does not make any sense. I believe that's still not it. Okay, I think I still got to. You told about pun about snow. Just completely calm down. You know, okay. Yeah, I want to consider that a new boss. Got a key on the ground. You put on your keychain. Right. Uh, let's see here, there's no one on the ground, and you can't make it all hurt. That's all you can read. Okay, and that is... No, no, we still gotta get the blue key. Do you remember where to go to put the blue key in the slot? Yes. Good job, remember. So yeah, things are pretty well coming together on what Alfie's did. Yeah, from what we saw with those weird monster fusions, as well as what seems to be oh right, just need to put the last key to the slot. We'll do that last thing, and then get into the power room and turn the power back on. There we go. It's perfect All right. So now we can go into the power. Uh, oh no, we're still fine. So now we can head into the power room now and turn the power back on. So now we know of the, the extremely dark truth of Alfie's. Yeah, so yeah, that's basically what happened. Alright, so now save. I'm gonna yeah. Yeah. save. save. And now we can enter this room, which uh, seems like another elevator has lost its power. Okay, oh, more entries. It seems to be turned off. Oh, these are off. Okay, let's just hurry up and turn on the power. Maybe we'll get to see them. Here we go. This must be the generator. Seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on? Yeah. Why, of course. We need to turn on to get out of here. Oh, dude. Another one? Well, I guess we're gonna have to take on like four more. It seems. Uh, hey, stop! Oh, good. I got you guys some food, okay? Okay. Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. I think they smelt the potato chips you had. You mean potato chips? You had in yeah. anyway. The power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on, but it seems like you were one step ahead of me. It was probably just a big inconvenience for you. But, but I appreciate that you came back here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I'd be too afraid to tell the truth. That I might run away or do something cowardly. Uh, I suppose I owe you an explanation. Yeah. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power called determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But those experiment, but the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take those concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what physically they had. Pretty soon, all the test subjects had melted together into those. Seeing them like this, I knew I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it. No matter, no matter how much everyone was asking me, and I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now, now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. 
It's going to be hard, being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on, lean on me when you... <laughs> I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. What does she mean by that? Um, so she's been... She was unable to hide the truth from anyone outside of the under... Outside of the true lab. So all these um, amalgamates have been stuck in here. Um, these, like, monster fusions have been stuck in here. Um, so she could keep it hidden from all the other monsters who, like, are part of those families. And uh, basically, she was, like, lying and kept the truth hidden for this long. No, she finally time. revealed. Yeah, she's it. finally gonna send everyone home and tell the truth to everyone. Okay, let's look at these happy faces. Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder, what happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? Well, plants are consider considerably living things, so I could see where Alfie's is going with this. Entry number 18. The flower's gone. So he... So Alfie's did something with a flower. So the elevator's back. Yep. It's a... It's a voice you have never heard before. Trip, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Trip, see you soon. Oh, that's the final block. Well, we'll just have to see. That might be volume, and if... Oh jeez, the elevator is covered in vines. The door That's is jammed flowy. shut with vines. Yeah, yeah. it it's flowy. Put the fight him again? Yep. Yeah, oh, there aren't even any safe points here anymore. Alright, let's get to Asgore. Yeah, just a nice slow walk in here. Really is nice. Alright, we're almost there. Here we go, we're back at the end game point. We can't turn back since the elevator is jammed shut with vines. So we're back here again. Asgore again. Yep. Oh, yeah, yep, yep. Time. We know. This is barrier. Hey, I'm fit. Yep. Yep. Okay, let's go. No, nothing else we can do now, so let's take you on. This is it, then. This is it. This, is this the real final battle? Yes, to get the true passive ascending. Ready. This is it. 